NTA was pioneered when it started. I'm talking about in 1977. Now, there were people who, you know, pioneered that movement, who were part of that great initiative that we're celebrating 40 years and still counting. Well, we have one already seated with us in the studio, one I admire so much, a very passionate, renowned broadcaster, um, former director admin, former principal from NTA TV College, and he retired as the executive director of programs in NTA. Please make welcome Malam Bello Sule. Good morning. Good morning. And it's a pleasure to meet you here. It's a pleasure to be here, always. Wow. Yeah, it's really been, it's just like yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah, just like yesterday. Um, incidentally, I was uh, employed the very year MTA was established wow. 20 years ago. Just a couple of months apart. Okay, so and. In August, it was established, I think, in April. Okay. 77, so I really feel like I am a pioneer. Yes, you are indeed a pioneer. <laughs> and I must say a big, big thank you. He gave me the first platform to be on a live program talking about Contact Magazine. Do you remember? Yeah. Dun, 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 contact. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And it's my pleasure and I feel proud that what we did then is bearing fruit now. Thank you. So, Thank you. And I hope the audience, the viewers there out there do remember and appreciate. Amen to that. Glad that our work is showing. Thank you know, you. you are an excellent script writer. When we're talking excellent mm. programming in NTA, yeah. your name must be mentioned. You yeah. know, you have contributed so much to the development of NTA. Now mm. looking at all these years gone by, yeah. how have we fared? Fulfilled. Okay. I put it in one word because um, I haven't done quite much of a check, but I like to boast that I'm among the few that were really more circulated within the system than most others. In programs, I've been a producer, I was employed as a scriptwriter, and then I became a producer. Then I got into broadcast management, managing programs. Then I became a general manager in four important stations. Then I had a TV college, as you recall. I had the ETV. Then I was also for a little over a year the director of administration in NTA as a whole, ministering to all staff all over the country. Hmm. And then, of course, the cap of it all was being the EDP, which every professional would feel proud to get to. Yes, I, I think, uh, let me just take you off from there. I, you seem to have gone around everywhere in NTA. And um, yeah. uh, looking at how it was then, yesteryears, yeah. uh, looking at what we are today, and because yeah. we are doing all of this projecting, you know yeah. our future mm -hmm. uh let's look at how it was yeah. you know at least comparing it with, with what what it is today how how can i analyze so it? summarize I how was it then number one it was a monopoly hmm. um when we joined i could remember what really made net network network was its capacity to transmit the festival of black arts and culture First talk 77. That was the first NTA challenge. And it delivered extremely well. And that was the beginning of the sense of network that survives to date. Um, at that time, every station has virtual monopoly of viewership in its domain. And a few were having links between one station and another, and viewers always had that time spent to be with NTA. Mm -hmm. Early broadcast hours from four or three o'clock, schools broadcast, where it was Sesame Street and the children's programs. We carry children along, youths, women. Then you get to more serious time bills where people watch the news, and then more mature entertainments later in the evening around 10 
either movies or drama. So it was really well prepared to connect and sustain the audience and get them satisfied with that one choice that they had. Occasionally you had hiccups and you see, please stay tuned. You can't do that to a viewer now. True. <laughs> he will wait. He will wait because yeah. knowing that he's going to be satisfied, he's going to watch his fav favorite program. And there were programs and there were producers that work hard competing among themselves so that whatever program you are given, before you are circulated to another unit, you must make a mark hmm. so that no producer that is going to take over from you will make viewers feel that your own was not good enough. So that was the competition. It was several layers of competition within yourself to connect with your viewers, between you and the next producer who was the best, between you and another station when you get to the platform of the competition, the first, the telefest. And when you put it all in aggregate, it was the viewer that you are, are striving to impress, to, uh, to endear yourself to, and to drive the message that you want the viewer to pick. Hmm. And I think that is also one of the greatest things that NTA really, really could be proud of. Yes, it had the monopoly, it was able to deliver okay. correctly. Yes. Now, uh, the, look, looking at that monopoly NTA enjoyed, and um, yeah. uh, Let's take it to 1992, uh, probably, mm -hmm. when uh, the mm -hmm. media was completely deregulated. Mm -hmm. And then we now had all of this offshoot of different uh, media platforms and all of that. Yeah. Um, we no longer enjoy that monopoly now. Yeah. Um, now with all of the various media houses that, that exist and all of that, what, mm -hmm. as an experienced broadcaster you are, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think NT really needs for us to remain afloat, for us to have, to still have that, uh, that relevance we used to have before. What do we need to do in this, in this era? Devolve, if you could put it in a word. Because what is happening now is viewers are alienated. Everything is central. Stations must hook up. And the large chunk of the airtime actually is dominated by network. And in network, it is not home-based. Either this program is in partnership, or this is sponsored by social, or this is uh, acquired. Meanwhile, those who could now be challenged to produce and connect to the viewers in accordance with the mandate of the system is almost relegated. Mm. I left here more than five years ago, and it's sad to note that Presently, NTA doesn't have its own flagship drama program, for example. It doesn't have any serious program of importance that really viewers always look forward to. This very program, the weekend deal, why should it not be a daily deal, for example? It can be sustained. The viewers are there. The issues are there. Yes. So, but it is not there. If you don't connect with the viewers, if you don't uh, comply with the contract with the viewers, then you are in trouble. True. And that you will be giving, you will be leaving the past, yeah. while the present is becoming more like a mirage. Yes. Now, you are talking yeah. about content mm. development, and yeah. also if we're looking mm. at content development, mm -hmm. we can take away delivery structure. Because yeah. you might have a fantastic idea, but the delivery yeah. is up. Yeah. So, in, in terms important. of content development now, yeah. which areas, you know, should we be looking? Because you're a program, programs person. Yeah. And when we're talking yeah. excellent programming in NTA, mm -hmm. you, your name must be mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of content development, what mm -hmm. should we be looking at? That's what tough, you must right? be looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there are so many factors to look at. Okay. But the primary one is your viewers and why you want to reach and keep them. Many years back, you look at the national aspirations and goals, and you now marry your programs into that. True. 
and you deliver to the audience without making it feel like it's a lecture session where you're looking to, pontif to pontificate. When we had Cockrow at Dawn, for example, it was all fun. It was an agriculture program, but people who look at it like a drama of sorts comprising some very interesting character that I love to watch. But the message is out there in the background. Go out there and farm, and the government is going to support you, and UBA is behind you. So if you are looking at the content that will now pick up from there, mm. there are many challenges that you could look at. Presently, security, for example, nationwide. You should design content that addresses the insecurity people feel. You should design content that will encourage people to cooperate with enforcement agencies so that the problem could be addressed and dealt with. You design content that makes people to feel less insecure. Because even if 100% success is being achieved, if you don't work on settling the minds of an audience, there will still be doubts and there will be complaints. So it's your job in content development to look at the issues and look at all the pros and cons of it and how you design what is the priority. Then you address that and you pick from there. Of course, for a long time, or if it has happened at all, is we haven't been able to do one of the things that are paramount. You just don't package a program on an issue, throw it at the audience, expect them to clap and say it's successful, or somebody comes to tell you it is. So you have to have some kind of feedback mechanism. True. So people will know genuinely, yes, the delivery was OK, the message was not lost, and now we have achieved success in the objective A that we are doing. And talking about success, mm -hmm. if I find it fascinating that when we're talking good programming, we still mm -hmm. go back to those Cockroach Dawn, you know, those good programs we had then in NTA. Yeah. And if, you, if you're doing a comparison with it back mm -hmm. then and now, yeah. would you say this time around there's a devoid in terms of passion and consistency? Of course. The, the passion is there. Okay. It is not sparked. Okay. There is no spark that ignites the passion for it to be delivered. What is the spark what needed? Spark? <laughs> yeah. Work facilities, the financial support, and the confidence in those who will now do the job. You are here, you are gathering experience as an excellent producer. Then somehow, when you need a platform to reach youths, for example, late afternoon after they have come out from their games and you want to do a youth program, say, no, 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 you can't have yours. It's a sponsored program. Somebody has brought this. Somebody who doesn't have half of the skill you have, half of the commitment. I don't know what it is that drives the system to an extent that you abandon your own who is capable and go for those who will give you returns financially. I mean, there's something wrong there. So definitely the most important thing is to give the support and the guidance and then do it in accordance with the objective that you have set. What about consistency? Want to do, it, the consistency must be there because if you start something and you start getting the feedback that there's excitement, people like that, there is no way you can just ignore it and go to something else. That is part of your contact with the viewers. You make them happy, and then you keep making them happy. But uh, I, I, I think I want, to, I, I want to delve more on this mm. content thing, because uh, mm. we, have been, we have been challenged now, uh, yeah. especially because of this, uh, yeah. this migration to the digital era, yeah. uh, which for us, uh, everybody knows that uh, the in thing now is that the content is key. Yeah. And uh, the digital era is going to be driven by the content you have. Yeah. And um, in yeah. terms of content development that you are mm -hmm. talking about, mm -hmm. uh, where, 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 where is the disconnect? Is it organizational or is it the, uh, from the Operation. perspective of maybe the, the staff, the producers operational. and all of that? Where, where is the Organizational or operational? It is, of course, the organizational. Yeah. It's, of course, the organizational. If you look at 
the budget, for example. If you look at the lineup, you will find out that there is not much put into content production. Before, you find that from the center here, we are in contact with many stations. We are going to be producing children's programs. Yenogwa, what is your contribution? How, how far have you gone? Even as we finish, we are talking to Sokoto and others and so on. So definitely it's organizational because the component units are there and waiting to make that contribution. Only is that the support is not strong enough. That's the disconnect. And because the mandate of the NTA is serve nationwide, if it is tampered with in any way, that's what gets you to where you are now. By mandate, NTA should be showing what is happening or what needs to happen in all parts of the country. Not Lagos, not Abuja, not even Potakot or wherever. So that's, that's the disconnect. The mandate is produce content with national appeal. If you don't do that, and you have a bunch of people here that you think Abuja centric is okay. If you give me children's program and you go to the amusement park, I'm okay. A child in Abuja, yes, you are addressing that child's need. What of the others? Look at what we do in the expo, the children's expo, for example, right? Yes. It gives children from all over the country a sense of belonging. Yes. And they should be given that. Well, you know, mm. Malam Sule, if mm. I take you back those years, we've had mm. some, you know, renowned broadcasters come talk about their times there when there was so much passion. And yeah. some of them even confessed that sometimes there is no even fund to push this program. But mm. there was passion. There was yeah. creativity. Yeah. Now, you talk about funding. You talk about mm. organizational structure that needs to be in place. What yeah. about the creativity of the producers? The honors, it's on them. What's of your course. take on that? Of course, the onus is on them. Every program, if you put, let us say, a, a youth program or an entertainment program, you put three producers and you say, here is this assignment. All the three will do it differently and in their own creative ways will make inputs that you will say, oh, I never looked at it this way. That's what I will probably do. So, the creativity aspect has to be nurtured and can only be nurtured through regular practice. You do this one this time, next time you're going to do different way and continuously and across the country. There is no way content can be developed to meet this huge monster hmm. called content consumer the television without devolving. True. So that from all the component parts, you get inputs. That is what the advantage of NTA is over the others. If in one week, NTA wants to have 26 episodes of a youth program, for example, somebody will sit in a few hours, do this design, send it out to all stations. Here are the funds. And two is give me a result. No other, no other... Uh, establishment, broadcast establishment, has that capacity. But it's not there, it's not being picked. And even at that level, in a state, you represent all the component parts of the state. And there also, everybody is sitting at the center there. Oh, why well, we want to do this? It's only an ex neighborhood in the capital that it is done. The essence of the federation is every unit is adequately represented and there is fairness. True. That's the balance we're talking about. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Okay, uh, maybe let me, uh, when you are being introduced, uh, mm -hmm. or some of us, uh, mm -hmm. our knowledge of you uh, dates mm -hmm. back uh, your days in the television college. And I, yeah, I remember true. then you used to be the papa of everybody in the, <laughs> in the college. Uh, let's, yeah. let's, 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 let's yeah. go back to the television mm -hmm. college, your days in the mm -hmm. television college. Yeah. Now, we've had a lot of people come here 
yeah. and in the assessment of uh, where we are now, the challenges mm -hmm. we have now moving ahead mm -hmm. to tomorrow, mm -hmm. a lot of people have adduced to the fact that training yeah. is lacking in terms of maybe uh, those who are currently challenged with the uh, mm -hmm. with the aspect of maybe moving NTA to the level we actually want. Mm -hmm. Looking at this aspect of training vis-a-vis -vis mm -hmm. your contribution at the TV college and what mm -hmm. the TV college is mm -hmm. there to, 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 to do, yeah. uh, do you think we have the capacity in terms of maybe the, the, the structure of uh, the TV college to cope with the, child, the training needs of, uh, of NTA personnel? Well, even if it doesn't have, there are avenues of meeting the training needs. But let me get back to how we did it when I was there between uh, 2000 and 2005. I looked at training needs across the country, analyzed. We don't have enough producers of children's program. We don't have enough producers of drama and whatever. Look at holistically, nationwide, from the staff records, from everything. And then we design courses. And we get staff that are either working in the system so that if you are a crack producer of drama and you are based in Lagos, we deploy you to TV college for three, six months and work on a project and pass the skill on to every program time, or if it is news, whether it's special reports, whether it's sports, whether it is um, current affairs, we design it to meet those immediate needs because we always analyze. There was not a single year when we ran a course that is not backed by factual research on the needs. Yeah. And when we were running it, we realized that within those five years, a number, a, a, the bulk of the participants had actually an NTA. The bulk of staff have had training. So we even expanded it. We yes, trained but, staff but, but, for AIT, we trained staff for Silverbird, mm. we trained staff for many um, um, private television stations. That is not happening now. Why? Mm. On the eve of explosion of demand for content. I thought that there should be almost um, a chain of training in every aspect of productions in anticipation of this um, bundling and the huge demand for content. Yeah, but just as a parting word as we are rounding up now, still mm -hmm. looking at uh, the, the aspect of uh, training and the, the, the contribution of the, of the television college, in mm -hmm. terms of response from perhaps maybe the station sending mm -hmm. in participants, sending in uh, staff for, to be trained there, what yeah. is the response like? Is it actually encouraging? Well, at that time, uh, that factor was not even taken into consideration. Because the budget for training for every station is domiciled in the headquarters. A station brings the return. In our department of programs, we have X producers. X minus five of them have had training in drama. And you get this report from many stations. Hmm. So that will now help you say, OK, now we are going to do live interactive program training. And then the stations that are weak and that, which is now in the majority, we are introducing something new, everybody brings it. Because we know what you have on ground. We have a record of those who have come to your, to TV college for training. We wouldn't expect you two training courses, you start sending the same people. I can remember we had to be sending people back, some stations like Makurji. Somebody had come and had exciting training, and then they are sent back. I say, no, go back. Utilize what you have been trained for before, and it is, this one is for okay. some other fresh people. But you know, they it say it's a bit technical, a bit academic, but but you know, Malam Sule, they say life yeah. begins at 40, so it's yeah. not too late to just pick up and you know get it going in terms of reaching out, in terms of development, and make NTA what it's supposed to be to the nation. Yeah. Yeah. What is your vision? What do we what do you see in the next 40, 20 years? What do you see as we round up? Technology is changing, taste is changing, um, even the delivery is changing. If care is not taken, NTA, you know, it will be irrelevant. Mm. That's a genuine fear. It will not be in the shape it is now because it wouldn't make sense to continue with it like that. That's my take. But 
as as um, an important uh, institution, it will not go. Okay. But the parameters have to be examined, and then we move with the flow. Now anybody can produce content and upload it, and you get your viewers. We don't get hooked by where we are now, or where we were 40 years ago when we were famous. You want to be more famous, the potential is there now, yeah. it is there. Yeah, thank okay. you so much, uh, mm -hmm. our own uh, Malam uh, Belusule. And um, mm -hmm. I think what one can just say here is just to, mm -hmm. to cap it with uh, the notion that mm -hmm words of errors are actually words mm -hmm. of wisdom and i think yeah. we are we have learned so much from this conversation with you and um mm -hmm. viewers out there if you were following us uh, we're talking to one of our own ace broadcasters a veteran and uh, somebody you would not mention nta without mentioning him and like you said uh, he came into the system just when nta was just uh, coming up too and um that's our interview with him this morning just like we said yesteryears we're equally going Speaker Box is going to examine something of yesteryears. Uh, let's look at five top music of yesteryears. Watch it and enjoy it.